Hello friends. It is time for Manna with Mumsy. And I am Penny Nelson, one of the distributable riffraff who became a believer, started following, and became a disciple of the Messiah and Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. And we are going to, the purpose of this video is to pray and study the Bible together. So manna, this is an example of manna right here is, and um, you have a physical body and you have a spiritual self. You are a, you are a spiritual creature in a physical body and your spiritual man needs some food. So it's the beginning of the day and we're going to have a little bit of um, manna. So, uh, thank you for joining me. That's what. Thank you for joining me in my home. Welcome to my, welcome to my home, and welcome to my life. I'm glad that you're here. What you're going to need is um, about 20 minutes. You can look at the video and see how long it is. You might want headphones. You probably want privacy. There's nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Move along. Move along. There's nothing to see. It's mainly designed to be listened to. So we are going to pray and we're going to get into Colossians a little bit today. So I'm glad that you're here. I'm praying for you and I'm going to try not to be distracted. This is in a, an amateur video and it's not going to be perfect, but the, the goal is for it to be like a prayer meet, like, well, for you to see I'm just going to get into it. It's not going to be perfect. I'm going to do the best I can, and I'm glad that you want to come along. So we will start with prayer. So first of all, who are we talking to? We are talking to Jesus, Jesus Christ, Master, Savior, and he was He was in an earth suit. He died on the cross. He died. Um, he was God and man in an earth suit. He died on the cross, whereby fulfilling and paying the complete price for our uh, forgiveness, for our healing, for our restoration, for eternity. And then when he rose from the dead, that was the proof that he is the boss and um, he is in charge of death, hell, and the grave. And so since he resurrected from the dead, he is alive and we can talk to him this morning. God, Jesus, is a person. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit are one, and so um, we are talking to Jesus, and we're asking for his Holy Spirit, which is the same, capital O, one God, to open our eyes and show us how to pray. So that should be enough of an intro, um, and we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to pray together, and then I'm going to ask you to turn off the video and set your timer for three minutes and pray by yourself out loud. That's why you might need privacy. So let me start by praying for you. And I like timers, and I like lists, and, and I like lots of things because it's hard for me. I have obstacles here. So, okay, let's start with our three minutes of prayer, shall we? Good morning, Lord. Thank you. I am grateful. I'm grateful. I am grateful. You, you, you. Not me, 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 me. You, you, you. We start by saying you. You are God alone. You are Savior. You are Master on your throne. I praise you, Lord. Uh, Lord, um, welcome. Um, you're already here. You're, you're, you're around me. You're you're beside me, you're inside of me, your your Holy Spirit is everywhere, and, and we, the listener, the person who is, is here listening to this video, um, you knew, because you're sovereign and you're providential before all of creation, you saw this moment and you knew that my friend and I would be here uh, via technology, um, and maybe they are interested in learning how to talk to you. You know exactly where they're at, Lord. I bring them to your attention right now. And I bring um, this time to you, to your attention. And I pray that you would show help, 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 help. 
I can't, I don't have the right words for this. I don't know how to do this, Lord. You, you asked me to make a prayer video this morning. And I want to, I want to pray for my friend that you teach him how to pray. So, Lord, open our hearts and our minds to receive and understand from your word. Uh, teach us to pray. I take, I say, teach us to pray. Show us how to pray. Okay, do I know any scriptures at all? Uh, when the disciples asked, that's, they didn't ask you how to walk. They didn't ask you how to talk. They didn't ask you a lot of things, but they did ask you how to pray. And so we ask you how to pray. And you gave us a pattern. It's not a magic wand. It's a pattern. Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil for yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. God, I pray for my friend. I lift them up. God, bless them, help them, strengthen them. Bless them, help them, strengthen them. I take all my worries and concerns and bring them to you. Okay, so that's my three minutes. Rough as it may be, I ask you to go ahead and stop the video. And now you pray for three minutes by yourself. Turn on your timer. You, you talk to Jesus. Okay, since you are a spiritual being um, and your spiritual being needs to eat, the idea of manna is to have a snack for me. That's what it comes from the Old Testament. I'm not, we're going to just do the digging now. We're just, so the point is that, that you could choose to eat a spiritual meal. So what I want to do is, do some cooking together. So this is the do DIY cooking uh, manna with Mumsy show um, Colossians um, fine dining meal chapter. Okay, so in order to 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 um, to dig in and get some spiritual food, um, you could have someone else feed you. Um, babies are fed bottles, and um, bottles come from somewhere someone else. So the point is you need to get some food in. So there's several ways you could do that. You could go to church and listen to, or you could go to a place. That's what you don't have to go to a building. You could go to a house. You could sit with your friends. You could do a lot of, a lot of things. There's lots of ways that you could eat spiritually, but we're just practicing eating by ourselves. So hopefully you got that and we're going over Colossians. So last week I went over, I think the first six, six, verses, and I'm probably going to go to 14 today and just read it and then, and then talk through it. So everything that you need for life and godliness, you have in the spirit and in the word. So you can, you can get a Bible anywhere and you can ask for the spirit and God will fill you. He will help you. The other things that you're going to need is, um, the desire to, to know truth and to obey it. Um, you might want to have a concordance and you might want to, you'll definitely need a Bible, but everything you have is right here on this phone. It's right there in your hand. I mean, anymore, nobody, there's no excuse for anyone not to be able to study. So the Bible is, um, well, God himself, it's a mystery, the mystery of the gospel and mysteries are something that you have to solve. And treasure is something that you go find. It doesn't just fall into your lap. So enough intro. Let's get to the cooking. All right, Colossians. It's so hard for me not to be a perfectionist. So in order to eat, you don't have to know a whole lot. You can just eat. So it's hard for me to do it because I want to do it perfect. So that which it's not going to happen. So just... You might want to know about, you know, you might want to study about it, but we're just going to read the first, I am, I'm going to do it. I'm going to read the first 14 verses, okay? Okay, 
read it together. You can read along. I wish I could hear your pages turning. Read along in your Bible. This is NIV, which I consider to be too watery. Um, you might want to look up some parallel translations. You might. I enjoy the message, it, which it is a paraphrase, in my opinion. Um, but it's the same thing. When you go back to food, there's different kind of foods you can eat, but you got to get the food in. Okay. 10 minutes and 20 seconds in, I'm going to start reading the book of Colossians, chapter 1. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, to God's holy people at Colossae, the faithful brothers and sisters in Christ, grace and peace to you from God our Father. We always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ when we pray for you because we have heard of your faith in Jesus Christ and the love you have for all of God's people. The faith and love that spring up from the hope stored up for you in heaven. Hmm, vocational. And about which you have already heard in the true message of the gospel that has come to you. Okay. In the same way, the gospel is bearing fruit and growing throughout the whole world, just as it has been doing among you since the day you heard it and truly understood God's grace. You learned of it. You learned, you learned it from... E. E. Paphras, our dear fellow servant, who is a faithful minister of Christ on our behalf, and who also told us of your love in the Spirit, capital S. For this reason, since the day we heard about you, we have not stopped praying for you. We continually ask God to fill you with the knowledge of his will. Oops, cat. Distraction, cat. Cat distraction. <laughs> we'll stay with it. We'll stay with it. We continually ask God to fill with we continually ask God to fill you with the knowledge of his will through all the wisdom and understanding that the Spirit gives so that you may live a life worthy of the Lord and please him in every way. Bearing fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of God, being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might, so that you may have great endurance and patience. Yeah, I'd like to have that. That looks delicious to me. I'd like to have great endurance and patience comma, and giving joyful thanks to the Father who has qualified you. Yeah, I'd like to be qualified. Qualified me. Oops, technical difficulties. Who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of his holy people in the kingdom of light. For he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the Son he loves, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. Well, that's a lot. Why did I think we could cover that much? Yeah, that's a lot. It's a lot to chew on. So that's what we're going to start chewing on it. We're going to start breaking it down a little. So... Um, We'll just go to, where it's delicious to me. I tell you there's nothing to see, and then I'm all concerned about what you're seeing. So, who, what, where, when, and how. Okay. <laughs> I guess I like to do a little figuring out the spices and figuring out what's going on. He's talking to believers. He's talking to people who have received the message. Okay, this stood out to me. That stands out to me. Let's, let's start with that. 
And that's what I love to write in my Bible because I do. I also love the sound of my own voice. Okay, so let's see where we are there. The faith we've heard. Okay, so the believers, the art, the believers, the leaders. So the letter is written by Paul is praying for the people who have received the message. Okay. We have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus. So first of all, they have faith. Second of all, they have love for God's people. So they have love for God and they have love for each other. And we need that. The faith and the love that spring up, spring up from the hope stored up for you in heaven. Well, how can hope be in and up? For the hope stored up for you in heaven and about which you have already heard in the true message of the gospel that has come to you. Now, God is able to show us the truth. So we ask him for the truth and he shows us the truth. Right away, my fear is it's a false message. It's a false message. So... Yes, there is truth and there is false, but we're asking God to show us the truth. So we can trust that he's going to do that. He's going to direct us. The faith and love that spring up from the hope stored up for you in heaven. It is a really strange thought. How could hope be stored up in heaven? In the same way, in the same way as something else, that the gospel is springing up, that faith and love is springing up, the same way the gospel is bearing fruit and growing throughout the whole world, just as it has been doing among you since the day you heard it, so that's the first thing, and truly understood God's grace. So we would like to truly understand God's grace. So, um, with my Strong's concordance, I'm not getting very far. It's going to be okay. There might be some things that I want to look up in the, oops, I'm pointing at it and concerned about what you're seeing, but tell you that there's nothing to see. So there might be some key words that I want to look up to because, um, oh Lord, I put so much pressure on myself. Help, Lord, I can't teach him anything. What in the heck? Excuse me, that's like cussing. What in the world? What did you want to show us this morning? Uh, the whole point I wanted to get to me, was get to, which is what, this is what I'm actually studying. What This is what, this is what I'm trying to chew on and understand. I'll just get to that out of context. I'll just do it wrong. I'll just do it out of context. Now I rejoice in, okay, right here. To them, God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles the glorious riches of this mystery, which is in Christ. I can't even speak. God have mercy. To them, which we'd have to find out who it was them. To them, God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles the glorious riches of this mystery which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. The hope of glory. What is that? And he is the one we proclaim, admonishing and teaching everyone with all wisdom so that we may present everyone fully mature in Christ. To this end, I strenuously contend with all the energy Christ so powerfully works in me. And in me, and in me. <laughs> it doesn't seem like powerful, like a powerful energy. I have a, I have a very timid, scared, doing it wrong energy. Whew. So that is about 20 minutes. So let's make it so you're not looking right at my nose, shall we? <laughs> and I'm going to. Pray for us again. Well, if you listen this long and you tell me if you have any 
questions or what were your thoughts about Colossians? And how could I pray for you? If you want to get in touch with me, Penny, P-E-N-N-I-E underscore Nelson at yahoo.com. What did you want to do, Lord? This doesn't seem like it's tied up with a bow very well. Seems like it wasn't a good idea to read the whole thing. It seems like you're able to do whatever you want to do with my effort, which you asked me to do. You, 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 you asked me to pray and read with my friend. So that's what I did today. I didn't do it very well, and it's kind of hard to do it when they're not here, but it is what it is, and I've done it in faith and in love and in obedience. So now that I've done my cooking show in front of everyone, I'm very grateful to be able to do some cooking and eating by myself. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to consume alone. I'm going to eat. I'm going to secretly and privately eat alone. <laughs> Oh, God, I pray for my friend. I pray for the listener. I pray for the student. I pray for the person who hung on till the end. I want to hang on till the end. I'm trying to listen. Teach us, Lord, we seek you. <sighs> Amen. <laughs> okay, as soon as I post it, it counts as obedience. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh Lord, 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 oh Lord.